Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. As you can see, we are in my car and that can only mean one thing. That's right, we are doing a little Halloween decor hunting today. We're doing sort of a half decor hunt today because I'm seeing a few smatterings of things at different stores. Nothing crazy, but I do think it's enough that I want to just kind of pop around and get a feel for what the stores are doing right now. So there's a few different things I want to check out today, but first we are starting at Joanne Fabrics. If you watch my latest video, you know that Joanne has been putting out their Halloween fabrics and has fabrics that I in particular am very interested in. I've been checking pretty religiously at the store to see if they've come in and I haven't seen them yet, but I'm really hoping that today is the day. Also, this is my first video in June, so I did want to take a moment and say happy Pride Month to all of my LGBTQIA plus friends out there. I am wearing my new little pride witch pin today. This is from Joan of Art Shop on uh, Etsy and she has these in uh, a few different options. I will link them in the description box. But this is the bisexual pride witch. They also have a just a straight up like rainbow pride, a trans pride witch, and I think a... I don't remember what the fourth one is. I'm obsessed though. This is so cute. I'm also, of course, wearing our queer icon mother, Elvira. <laughs> uh, these are from Reb's Rainbow House, and I had to, I had to do it. We're doing subtle spooky pride today. Oh, and I've got my, I just got my pride nails done too. So she matches my little witch. So cute. Oh, and one more quick thing before we go in, because several of you spotted it under my sweater in the last video and asked if I got a new tattoo, and the answer is yes, I did. Um, I got this trick-or-treat tattoo. I'm obsessed. Um, it's about a week and a half old now. I love it. I love it. Trick or Treat is one of my favorite spooky movies. It's like a, a comfort movie for me. I watch it every Halloween. So um, I was lucky that this artist had this as one of their flash pieces. And the uh, artist is named Rachel Dahl here in Kansas City. Um, she's at Grim Tattoo in Westport. And this was one of her flash pieces. I got so lucky that I just walked in and asked if I could do her design and she was really excited to do it. So, okay. I think that's the full update on everything <laughs> happening on my body. Uh, let's go head into Joanne and see if we can find some of this mid-century spooky fabric. Okay, not fabric, but this is a very good sign. <laughs> if you don't know, when stores start putting big clearance on their like summer and any of their like patriotic stuff like this, that means that it's almost time. <laughs> okay, they do have a couple of new things from the last time I was here they do not have any of the Johnny Yannick um, fabrics, but I'll show you what they do have. We've got some zombie pinups, which they've had this before, but I think this is a new colorway. Got this one too. Um, I don't remember seeing this one last time. It's more like just goth spooky pinups. It's cute. I like her. <laughs> So they do have these pink ghosts, which I've been excited about this ghost in this blush print. Um, and it does say it glows in the dark. So that's cool. They also got that in this kind of orange with white and orange ghosts, which I don't like as much, but it's still cute. I actually just bought this fabric and the cream version of this fabric to make a dress. This is cool and different. We've got some kind of like monster bar scene. <laughs> This is a really cool graphic print, very like witchy, got some tarot cards. I love the bat illustration, it's really cool. I also really like this green skeleton fabric. I am always interested in something that's like a little bit different color scheme wise for Halloween and I, I really like this kind of bright green. This is cool too, you've got kind of like a, I don't know what you would call that, kind of a 
sciency, like palmistry, phrenology type print. It's, I could see a lot of cool like decor possibilities with this. Ooh, we've also got kind of a Victorian orange. We've got like a Ouija board, planchette, skeletons. There's like some little skeleton people having a seance. <laughs> this is fun. I have found what appears to be some new Halloween fabrics tucked under the bottom of like the apparel fabric section. So we're gonna check these out. These dots, cats and ghosts. This is the like stretchy kind of pajama fabric. I really like this. I don't remember this from last year. It kind of has like a corpse bride energy about it. Again, it's also that stretchy like pajama fabric. It's really cool. Oh, also glow in the dark. And we've got like kind of an athletic feeling, like it feels like athletic pants. These like oil slick spider webs. And then lastly, there's this like bat corduroy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god, wait, this is the employee only area. Do you see it? Do you see the ghosts and the pumpkins? <laughs> That's one of the ones I'm looking for. Those two right there. I see quite a bit more Halloween. Right there, right there. <gasps> Down at the bottom, I think that's also one of the ones I'm looking for, that like white. I don't see the spider web in, in there, but they definitely, they're holding out on us. Okay, so a few new things to see at Joanne. I can't believe they're holding the fabric that I'm looking for in the back still. I'm hoping that in the next couple of days or so, it'll be out on the floor and I can actually buy it. I did pop by my P.O. box because I'm right here and I have a pretty large package from my friend Matthew in Oregon. So uh, he told me it was on its way and I'm really excited. I'm hoping I can open that uh, later today. I also have a letter from uh, Sunny, I believe is what it says. So if that is your letter. I have that as well. Thank you for sending me something. Okay, so I think our next stop is going to be the Bath and Body Works outlet store to see if we can find any of this supposed Halloween clearance that is out. So I will catch up with you in just a minute. I have been craving boba all day. I kept saying when I got home, I was gonna go to the boba place, but then there was a boba place at the outlet. Yes, so excited. Okay, so no success at Bath and Body Works today, um, but a lot of their summer stuff is already on clearance. I will tell you all this, I really do think that people probably put their orders in hella early this year because of the shipping delays the last couple of years, and I do think we're going to see Halloween earlier than we have the last few years so I really do think that things are gonna be rolling very quickly here. I've stopped at at home kind of on a whim because I did see something online today. Uh, I think Miranda maybe shared it in her story, but somebody did see some Halloween like floor mats and stuff out at at home. This one is right by my house. So I was like, well, why not? Let's pop in and just see if we can find something in the wild. That'd be just a fun little surprise. Let's go. Again, clearance on summer good sign. So I wanted to give a quick little at-home decor hunting tip. So most at-homes will have whatever seasonal, you know, right at the front door. But as we start getting into when they're just sprinkling Halloween out, a lot of the times they'll put it on these like back shelves right behind the seasonal section. Um, so you might not see it if you don't look for it. So check the shelves as well as the ones that are up front by the register. Okay, so we're back at home, um, as not at at home. Let's go. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> so as we saw at home didn't have anything out. They did not even have the doormats yet. But again, I think we will be coming up on that very soon here, probably mid month, I'm guessing. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I might not be wrong. I do, however, want to open this stuff for my P.O. box, and I do have a couple of things upstairs that I've been waiting to open um, until I was filming. So we're gonna go do that really quick. Let's pop up. I got my scissors. Let's go open some packages. 
So first thing I'm gonna open is from Krypton Coffin. I have had this, uh, again, for a little bit of time, but I kind of wanted to open it on camera because this has just been one of my absolute favorite new businesses, um, small spooky businesses to support. And one thing I have tried to be really intentional about on my channel is sharing small spooky businesses with you all because especially this time of year, small businesses get lost in the mix of the big box stores because we all get so excited about what's happening at home and Spirit and Target and all that, which is super exciting, it is. But these smaller businesses work so freaking hard year round <laughs> to give us awesome spooky stuff. And this is such an important time of year for them. I just, I wanna make sure y'all are still supporting our small makers during this time. So Krypton Coffins, absolutely incredible. Here's the package on the inside, pretty little skull stamp and her packaging is just always freaking immaculate. We've got all these cute little like stickers and her little tag, little coffin that says, you're drop dead gorgeous. And in case I didn't mention that, these were purchased, not gifted. Um, so you guys have kind of seen this before, but it's a new variation. Krypton Coffins makes a really awesome spooky like drinkware. And I have this cup in another like way, um, but this is a glass that says spooky babe in this like groovy font with hearts and stars. And I bought the original cup of this, which had like a vinyl sticker on it. And the spooky babe goes this way. So two things about that. One, you can't read the spooky babe like all at one time because it's wrapped around the cup. And secondly, because it was a vinyl sticker, you cannot put it through the dishwasher. Krypton Coffins has now figured out how to like steam ink her glasses so this is not a sticker this is in the glass meaning you can actually dishwash these glasses which is very exciting and she has a new style of glass so not only is it like this but it has a straw and this beautiful little wood top so you can take it to go i'm so so excited about this like i said i know i already have this one but i really loved the improvement to this design uh, so that you can really see what it says. And yeah, ah, I'm really happy about this. I can't wait to put it on my spooky coffee bar. And then I also got one more thing from that drop. And this is really great timing because today, Netflix released the kind of first official teaser for this show that is coming on Netflix very soon. I got this t-shirt that says Sad Girls Club. <laughs> uh, and it says on Wednesdays, we wear black. And it's just a cute little t-shirt. I usually wear my t-shirts with a like um, high-waisted skirt, but I really, really like this design. And yeah, like I said, Netflix put out their first little teaser for the new Wednesday show that Tim Burton is doing for Netflix. And I am so freaking psyched. So now I'll have a little t-shirt to wear while I binge watch that. <laughs> Okay, so that is all I got from Krypton Coffins. So I'm gonna open some subscriber mail now. This is the letter I picked up today. Like I said, I think it says Sunny in normal Illinois. <laughs> My husband works for a company called Abnormal. And so I make the young Frankenstein joke, Abby Normal, like 200 times a day. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. So excuse me, her name is Sumi, S-U-M-Y. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but Sumi sent me a copy of a letter that they sent to Vixen by Micheline Pitt, which uh, is the the dress that I'm wearing right now is from Vixen. Um, basically everything I ever wear is from Vixen. But they sent this letter to Vixen letting them know how many folks have purchased stuff and uh, specifically the bride and... Uh, sleepy hollow horseman bags from my full spooky bag collection video. How many folks have purchased um, with Vixen and their sister company Le Femme en Noir because of my videos? And they said, I'm hoping that the letter encourages them to sponsor you in the future. That is so incredibly kind for you to take time out of your life to do that. I thank you so much. That's so kind. 
Vixen and La Femme Noire are also small companies and so I know they don't have like a ton of money to throw at influencers or whatever but I really am a walking billboard <laughs> for them. I would if nothing else I, I would love to have the opportunity to model for them at some point because I really really do love them so much and I have so much respect for Micheline and Lynn and all the designers and people working over there. They're amazing and it's so cool that there's a brand that's putting the clothes out that I want to wear. <laughs> like, especially as a, a person who has spent most of my life being plus size and not really being able to find clothes that I felt like expressed who I am on the inside, on the outside. Like, I just, I really appreciate what Vixen and La Femme do for the community at large. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you again, Sumi. That is really really sweet and, and special okay this is from beth in richmond got a little card i love that y'all send me tea <laughs> i've been getting a lot of tea and i think that's so nice <laughs> hello from virginia not sure how i found your channel but so fun love beetlejuice so much good because we do a lot of that here <laughs> I tried a few of your purse links, but all have sold out. See, I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm the vixen gal. I think that uh, as we get into spooky season, a lot of my bags that y'all have seen me carry will restock. Love your style. Sending some of my favorite tea. Enjoy. Thanks for all the videos. We'll return again soon. Thank you so much, Beth. That's so sweet. Okay, this I have had for a minute and I know Amy is like chomping at the bit with me <laughs> to get this opened. So this is from a subscriber named Amy and Amy has done me uh, a couple solids in the past. <laughs> oh my gosh, Amy, I just realized you're from Chico. My cousin used to live in Chico. I've got family in California. Anyway, uh, Amy had sent me the black like um, studded Starbucks tumbler because I couldn't find it anywhere and she had it at her Starbucks. And I do know what this is, but I wanted to open it on camera. Look how cute this is. It's got a spider. <laughs> I love spiders. Put spiders on everything all the time for me, please. <laughs> Code orange, let spooky season begin. Love Amy. Wow, that sounded exactly like a witch animatronic. <laughs> what the, I have never, I don't think I've ever laughed like that. The code orange brought it out in me. Look at this. This is the new, um, like, I think this is, I guess this is for summertime, this orange kind of textured tumbler from Starbucks, but hello, pumpkin queen energy. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I have a cup of sorts like this on me at all times because if a cup does not have a straw, I will not drink water. I don't know why, I'm assuming it's like a neurodivergency thing, like it's probably ADHD related. I don't know, but I won't drink water unless there's a straw on the cup. So I love these cups and I'm so, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for sending this to me, Amy. I really appreciate it. I love this like ombre on it too. It's like matte at the bottom. Cool. Last but certainly not least is a package I picked up today from my friend Matthew in Oregon. And he just sent this on Friday and was very specific to tell me like, hey, I'm sending you something really cool and you're probably gonna wanna wait until you film next time to open it like was very specific to tell me to open it on camera so and i thought i had an idea of what he was sending but this is not it because this is way bigger of a box than what would have what it would have been so wait what is going on this is great stop you are so cute look at this greetings midge with the are you kidding me Precious. This is your new friend Matt in Portland. I just wanted to reach out and tell you that I think you're so dang cool and amazing. <laughs> 
for context, uh, Matt and I just really have like good rapport. Like when we started talking on my Instagram DMs, we just hit it off like immediately. Speaking of which, I'm gonna be doing a like featured um, artists thing on Instagram this month for queer artists, but Matt is a fellow bisexual and he is uh, an artist and I will link his art page in the description because he's great. Inside of this new friend care package are some goodies from Crypticon, Seattle, and some other fun stuff to get you hyped for the best season of the year. I hope you love it all. The wrapped gift is the big one. Okay, that's I haven't gotten to that yet. Feel free to open it on camera. If you do another fan mail video, I'd love to see your reaction. Here you go, bud. <laughs> Cheers, ghoul friend, happy pride. And thank you, YouTube, for suggesting your channel to me. I'm so thankful for it. That's awesome. Oh, and he does have his art page down here too, uh, Matt Grigsby Art. So I will be sure to link that below. So first is this little like bundle, which is fabric. <laughs> I'm very excited. We've got a couple of patches here. A scream patch, a freaking ghost face scream patch, which you all know I am a, I am a ghost face ghoul. I love scream. And my other favorite, Beetlejuice. This is like on fabric. This is very cool. And some beautiful vintagey Halloween fabrics. <laughs> this is so funny. What great timing. Remember when I said that the zombie... <laughs> fabric that was the, the it had been in different colors before this is the other colorway the purple it also has come on green in the past look how cute the zombie pinups are ah! i like this color this is like i wouldn't buy it in that gray because it's too it's too bland for me personally but i obviously i love this like lavendery purple and a yard and a half of this beautiful like vintage advert kind of witch pumpkin fabric. This is so beautiful. I've never seen this before. I don't know if this, it, was this from Joanne? I've never seen, look at this tricks or treats. Atomic, how cute is that? It's so vintage. This is where the magic happens. Oh my God, I've never seen this one. This is so cute. Ooh, girl, we gonna be sewing this year. The amount of fabrics. First of all, I've already bought fabric. Now I have fabric. And when that other fabric finally shows up at Joanne, I'm gonna buy like 500 yards of fabric. Get ready for some sewing videos. <laughs> we gonna be sewing. Oh my God. Okay. So this is the quote wrapped gift. That is the, the big one, as Matt said. And this is actually the size of what I thought he might be sending me. <laughs> if this is what I think it is, I'm gonna pass out. You're gonna watch me pass out live on the air. <laughs> it's double wrapped. I was like, okay, what is it? It's more tissue. <laughs> more tissue, Adams. Oh my God. Okay, I'm holding it down. I haven't seen it yet. Do you wanna see it before I see it? I'm gonna show it to you guys first. Can you see it? That's what I thought it was gonna be. I'm sorry, I know it's so weird to cry about this. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Well, Matt, I hope that was the reaction you were, you were looking for. So this is a freaking, a freaking signed picture from Cassandra Peterson from Elvira. The reason I thought this might be what this was is because when Matt and I talked last, he was going to Crypticon to meet Elvira. And he and I had talked about how disappointed I was because I was gonna go meet her in Kansas City at Planet Comic Con and she canceled at the last minute and I was really heartbroken. And while it is still really disappointing to not get to meet her in person, this is really freaking cool because not only is this like, I know it's actually real and it freaking says, it says to Midge. 
Oh my God, I'm wearing my freaking Elvira earrings right now. Oh my God, guys, I'm not okay. Like, you know, you buy like autograph stuff online, but you don't know where it came from. Like, I know this is real because Matt went there and talked to her. And Matt, for you to take like time out of your time meeting her to, to think of me and to get me this is so cool. Elvira has always been such a freaking huge inspiration to me. And then if you don't know, <laughs> last year when Cassandra Peterson released her autobiography, um, Yours Cruelly, Elvira, she came out basically like she um brought up that she's been in a relationship with a woman for the last like 17 years or something crazy and like she's always been an inspiration for me and then for her to now be like a proudly queer woman and for her to be this you know icon this this embodiment of the power of femininity and feminine energy and to be queer is just so incredible. And she just, she means a lot to me. And this is freaking cool. This is really freaking cool. <laughs> you guys are all learning what an ugly crier I am because I literally don't think I've ever cried on the channel before. <laughs> I try really hard not to. Well, this is literally the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to take a break from filming now so I can cry. <laughs> what a Pride Month gift. <laughs> this is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna hang it in the studio. I have my, my wall of art um, behind you all over there. I'm gonna hang her up so I can look at her. And that's so great because when I film, this is the way I, I sit. So I'll always, I'll always be looking at her for inspiration. I always, uh, joke with my friends that it's my hope to one day be like the Elvira of Kansas City. <laughs> so um, I am, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take a pause from filming and collect myself and then we'll, uh, we'll come back and wrap things up. <laughs> okay, friends, well, that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this more vlog style video. Thank you again so much to everybody who sent stuff to my P.O. box. I, I really so, so appreciate that. And thank you again to Matt for maybe the coolest gift uh, anyone will ever give me. <laughs> As a reminder, if you're not already subscribed to the channel before you leave today, it is the height of Halloween decor hunting season and you're not gonna wanna miss a single video. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you be a part of the Glamour Ghoul gang. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to socialize.